They're racing. The horses parade for the start. The big moment has arrived as the horses go up to the barrier with Beau Veet, hottest favorite since Farlap leading the field. Many a hope rides with him today, as in every city and town the crowds listen. Everything is, at the moment, favorable. For once, the boss can't complain of a rowdy office, as pens are dropped and tools are down for the annual listen-in strike. The traffic stopped too, but it's not federal rationing. They walk in for the start of the race, and they're up, with Bo Leave on the inside and Giltown wide out on the course, the smartest away, with Marvin left badly. Onto the course proper, Giltown shows the way to true flight with Wilson wide out next from indignity. Past the two furlong post first time around, Giltown is out two lengths clear of Bovee, who is on the inside of that bunch trio. On the outside of them, indignity and Wilson with the white jacket going up very fast. As they race round the turn at the top of the straight, three furlongs to go, movie tone slow motion camera picks out Pan Deck leading from Dashing Cavalier, while on the extreme left of the picture with the white bridle is Old Roly. You can see his number 11 on the saddle top as they swing into the straight. Now with two furlongs to go, it's Pan Deck on the inside, but Bo Lee with the check jacket and bandaged feet challenges him and runs to the front. But on the outside, old Roly with the white bridle is making light of his seven years. He passes Bo Lee while Maikai with the dark jacket out wide is putting in his claim. But it's old Roly from Maikai with tidal wave with the light jacket coming through fast to take third place at 100 to 1. Old Roly's sharp wind causes a turf sensation. But no matter what price your horse, the jockey doesn't always benefit. 